If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over my first impressions and thoughts of playing Madden 21 early through the use of the beta. First off, shout out to Kev from One Stop Mud over on Twitter. He did get me a code. Uh, does not mean go spam him, but I do want to give a, you know... Quick announcement about that because that was pretty cool i did not get a code again for the second year straight i honestly don't know at this point i i signed up i did the email didn't get a code which did really suck but at least he hooked me up so i was able to play i've been playing for a few hours this morning wanted to get a feel for it and got some good got some bad and remember guys uh, the bad isn't necessarily bad you have to remember that it is a beta it's going to be clunky it's going to be glitchy it's not going to play that well to begin with so like even before you get into that beta it's already it's already a lost cause because at the end of the day it's gonna be laggy glitchy clunky it's not gonna it's not gonna feel great to people who already played you know the actual madden full release game so take it with the greatest off the bad what is good though is that the good that i see is great because it's gonna be better than what it looks like now but i'm gonna go over it in this madden screen here i'm gonna go you know go through you know do a little adhd type stuff just move around i cannot just sit here and talk for that long so you guys get what i'm trying to say i need to be moving i can't just sit here on like a blank screen with the trailer going so i'm gonna do it this way but before we get into the video guys go down below hit that subscribe button turn the notification boys turn the family give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already comment down below if you guys have played the beta yet and what you guys think so have a notepad right here of all the stuff i want to talk about so starting with the first look when we get into the menus the menus look solid obviously it's not the official menus it was just like a play now menu but the color scheme looks solid when you get into the game first off i saw some new abilities i saw uh, tight out which is pretty cool it's like it's, it's a lamar ability which i like because i think they're doing more personalized ability so in real life, what does Lamar do? He, he make he creates some time, he lets the play go out, and what does he always do? He finds a tight end right over someone for a good catch. He finds Andrews, he finds Boyle, he finds Hurst. Now, he has his own ability now called tight out. Now, I mean, I don't know if any other quarterbacks probably get it, but Lamar starts with it. I feel like that's a very Lamar-esque ability, the ability to just do stuff like that. It's literally getting your, your tight ends catch more consistently when you find them and when they beat their coverage. So that was a pretty cool ability. Uh, a few others that I did see. I don't remember them off the top of my head, of course, but there's a few things I want to go over here. So, the game feels clunky right now, but it is a beta. One thing I did notice that was really bothering me was the fact that switching on to players wasn't really working. When you press, like, you know when you press B to switch onto the nearest defender, like, they throw a screen to the flats, you switch onto the nearest defender and you get to play. It would take, like, three seconds to switch. So, like, I don't know, like, that could be one of two things. Either A, as a user, if you're using a player, they want you to be in your own position, you shouldn't be able to just fly because it is true i mean it has always sucked like let's say you have a good play like you use you, you fake someone out to the left and they can quickly switch to the, your the 94 speed safety you have and just break the play which in real life had it been a real player you know it wouldn't really work that way you created so much space now if that's like what they're going for to be like user error like you know you should know where the play's going like that's a user another thing to oh pretty much divide smart players versus you know less intelligent players so you gotta know like okay the play's going right let me stay on the right side to be in this play versus that but i did not like that i was i was i was literally jamming my b in like switch me to the guy to make the play um second the juking felt a little weird to me like the whole the new skill stick obviously i don't know the controls i don't know the new skill stick you have to get used to it's like this year when jukebox first came out like, when you time it do you just do it like how do you juke and then once you figure it out you know it's, it's glitchy juking so it could be something very 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 similar in terms of the whole basis of you gotta learn the skill stick, gotta learn the timing, and once you get it down, it'll be just second nature. Second thing, defensive usering felt really clunky. Again, the guys, I think they had Patrick Queen at like an 81 speed, which I don't know if those are official ratings, so don't base it off that, but 81 speed is slow, but I really felt as like, you know, like this year or the past pounds where you can just like, you can run up like a jackrabbit, like go all over the field and just stop three routes. It's looking like you may have to commit to one route at this moment in time. Again, that was a sm that they only have 81 speed. Maybe with like an 88 speed linebacker, it will feel very different. We won't know entirely just yet, but did feel and but it wasn't just him. Like I'd use Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas isn't the fastest safety as well, so those weren't the best two teams to have to know if it was glitchy. You, know, you could still use her, but in terms of that, the usering did feel a little bit off. Pass rush was really good, of course. Oh, that's gonna happen again. Pass rush felt really nice. I was they were getting consistent. The CPU was getting a lot of pressure on me. They're not like they're running any nano or anything on me. They're just set in four and they were getting a lot of pressure especially on the edges i was noticing that the dominant edge rushers like a frank clarkish or like a, a calais campbell who's on the ravens now he was getting off that edge pretty pretty fast so that was pretty cool to see i mean it's, it was happening with this but um running the ball i noticed that momentum shifting really is even worse than i think this year i ran like an inside zone week to the right i think it was like a it was a generic zone like six seven guys in the line 
and I tried cutting it back, like, but not cutting it back to the side. You know, like when a when a when a run play pushes to the right, there's like that little cutback lane for anyone who's played football. I tried doing that, and Damian Williams got so slow, and I like I don't like that because that's not me trying to you know be Madden cheese, like cut back to the left side of the field. It's me doing a, it's a Madden play, you know, it's it's a zone play. Zone literally find the hole in the line, you go right and you cut it back. Maybe I cut it back too soon. You know, eventually you're your muscle memory. You'll get used to when to do certain things. But again, it's a beta. Maybe they're gonna fix that. Maybe Damian Williams doesn't have a lot of agility, and you need agility to do certain things, which is very uh, possible. Lamar did feel very inaccurate. He was he was not making the best. A lot of his throws were going like far right. And the thing with this year is like it's not like it goes far right. Like I always hated that. Like a bad throw in this game meant out of bounds, out of bounds over everyone. No, it went. The receiver can get there. But let's say like you do if you ever do like a 10 yard streak. Let's say like, you know the streaks where you just streak them real quick. You see a spot in the defense. They get right past that first linebacker. You just chuck it in between the seams. I was doing that, and the ball was going like 10 yards extra up, five yards extra to the right, and then Marquise Brown have to go out of his way to get to it, which is kind of cool because in real life that's how it is. You know, when you throw a bad throw in real life, the receiver tries to get to it. And this year's Madden, they just keep running to the route, and the ball goes somewhere else, and no one goes for it. Which, again, I mean, maybe that saved us. It me now, if it's that's the case, maybe a lot more picks. Because I was trying to do that seam thing, it was not working. Lamar was throwing really poorly. And like again, it was catchable. It was weird. I've Madden never really had this for. It's a catchable bad throw, but it was consistently happening. So like, it would just go like five yards to the right. Marquise would change his route for it and go for it. But now that he did that, every other guy on defense can get into there. So that's gonna mean you know tight windows. Maybe they're making us a running quarterbacks. But I mean against like real life, running quarterbacks aren't always the most um, accurate. So I, I can see that. Yeah, uh, some some of the jukes on the field were feeling a little weird to me. Jukebox sometimes was working with Lamar. Sometimes I was either I was getting some crazy juke or I was getting no juke. Again, maybe it's just a whole thing of timing. Running the ball felt very nice. I feel like the running assignments, the run blocking felt very, very nice. A lot of drop passes, a lot of drop passes. Like anything even slightly contested was just a drop pass. Now, in Mutt, I've experienced this. I know in Mutt, it's always been like that. It's like contested catches. Contested balls just don't catch, which made me start playing Madden to where I don't throw anything contested. I only throw open things. Then playing franchise, it's like, okay, you can catch contested because it's like a real life. And then you get the point. Point is, I don't know if that's going to stick. It could have been the, the me playing on all Madden, you know. It could, it could be a lot of things, but we have to see. Let's see what else I got on here. Yeah, a QB fumbles. So when I was Lamar, it, no, it was weird. So... The CPU wasn't fumbling, but I was like, when I was Lamar, I was fumbling almost every play, but the other team, I was hit sticking. Mahomes was doing spin moves off of me and getting the hell hit out of him. He wasn't fumbling. Again, it could be just all Madden. You never really know, because I feel like when you play computer all Madden, they play a lot better than if you play a user who has an all Madden, because it's like, you know, it's user oriented. So I, I can't really base it off of that. Uh, quarterback releases did feel a bit faster. I feel like Lamar was getting that ball off super quick as soon as I wanted to. Also, I noticed that they're able to, they don't have the long wind up. And you know that long wind up animation? When like about to get sacked and like that you're like on the move i was able to scramble with lamar stop real quick and just get the ball off and it was and like i was this close to being sacked and he still finished his animation this year he would be halfway and he would get the sack animation just fall back so that was pretty cool too i did like because there was one ball to mark andrews where i felt like oh, i'm gonna get sacked i just tapped x and he literally got he, he sped up his release to get it to him it was a little inaccurate but that's what they said they made it this year so it's not like every every throw is the same animation because that sucked mahomes throws a five-yard pass mahomes about to get sacked I noticed when Lamar, when Lamar had no one around him, he set his feet, went. Lamar's about to get sacked. It looked like this. He just got rid of it real quick. Now, again, it might not be the most accurate every time, but I'll take I'll take inaccuracy of the slightest bit to get a pass off because sometimes, especially, you know what that was really going to help with? When you got that guy wide open, someone's blitzing eight all game, and you like all you got to do is streak your guy. Like, you, all you got to do is streak Tyreek, and it's going to be a touchdown if you don't get sacked. And like every time, and that's the worst feeling when they send like a, a free contain blitz and it's coming for you and you see the guy open, you can't get it to him. It'll, get it to him. It'll be an accurate 10 yards, but who cares if it's an accurate 10 yards if the receiver can still get to it wide open. So that's going to be key for that because I always hated people who knew they could send eight because the, the, the pressure will mess up your throw or the sack will happen before you can ever get that ball off. So that should kill some blitz metas this year. Hopefully if that does stay. Uh, I didn't really try run committing. Open field tackling is very hard because the deep, okay, right now as it, as it is, Offensive feels very overpowered. Defensive feels so hard to use it right now. Now, they'll probably bounce up by the time the game comes out. Maybe faster defenders. Again, I was working with Devin, oh, sorry, Patrick Queen in the linebacker. They were all 80 on one speed. Earl Thomas like an 86 speed. While the whole offense of Tyreek Hill, McCullough, and all of them are like 90 plus. So, 99, 97. So, again, it probably just felt really weird. 
but hopefully they balance that a little bit more. You know, the defenders, because there's a lot of rookies too, so you gotta, you gotta take that clay. This is older. A lot, of, a lot of slow people on that Ravens defense for me in that specific simulation I just did. So hopefully they fix all that. And if that is all good, in my opinion, they can fix all that. The game did feel nice, but open field was super hard because I just couldn't catch up to anyone. And it wasn't switching me on, which was really annoying too. But the tackling animations actually do seem really, really cool. Like when they tackle, they actually wrap up legitimately. They don't, they don't like do like the typical mad. I don't know what I really like. They don't do the mad and generic tackling. You hit stick, it's always just a boom. I hit stick, I stick to stick Mahomes. Mahomes did the thing he did in real life against the Texans. We did like, I took the hit stick and did like a spin move and kept running. Like, that's cool. That's like real life. That happens sometimes. You know, if you want a hit stick, it could work. But sometimes hitting someone so hard only pushes them in another direction. Like in real life, safest tackle is a generic go for like get them down. Now you want to hit stick them, you want that fumble. But that's what I like because in, in this year with enforcement and stuff, everyone's just hit sticking. Hit sticking, guaranteed tackle, hit sticking. Now you try to hit stick, you may spin them. Because I, I, I play for real football. I know that when people when people went for my legs, it was hard to get out of that stuff. If they went for my chest and they went to a straight hit to hit me, if I even slightly moved and they, and they only hit me on the shoulder, they would just bump me over five yards. I gained my balance, and now I'm gone off to the races because I was the last defender. Or they'd spin me. That's, that's a real thing that happens. They hit from the side, and you get spun around, and you bump into someone else. So I like that. It'll really make people, you know, if you want to get fumbles, it's like a, it's risk reward, which is pretty cool. That pretty much wraps up all of my notes here that I think were really important to talk about. In my opinion, is it great? Is it good? I think it's decent right now. But again, it's a beta. If it's decent, I, that's good. Does it have potential to be better than Madden 21? I think so, because every year I like that they make it more authentic, not in terms of real football, but in terms of how it looks. Because, you know, there was a time back in Madden 25 in those days where it was just like a generic player just ran straight. Every animation was the same. Every catch was the same. Now we're getting different tackle animations. We're getting different throwing animations. We're get, it, it starts to look more like I'm watching football. Now, what the other user does, you know, those guys like Joke who just run single back dive the whole game. Now, people, like, nothing wrong with that. Now, people are going to complain that's not real football. But it looks like real football. What he's doing may not be real football. Me, you know, nano blitzing or escape bars. I know that might be real football, but the, on the field, the animation, I like that. The, lo the more authentic it feels, the more people are going to want to probably play it, in my opinion. But guys... That's about it for this video. Overall rating out of the whole beta, I'm gonna give it a five or out of a, a five to six out of 10. If they fix the B switching, they give us realistic ratings and uh, the speed isn't as clunky as it actually appears to be. Gonna be an easy eight. I mean, the game's looking pretty good, but guys, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Get ready for Madden 21. If you guys got the beta, let me know down below what your opinions are and give me a rating down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.